So as you probably know, we added a puppy to our family at the beginning of the year. Zero was a welcome and much needed catharsis after losing Echo. Like all our pups, we enrolled Zero in the usual puppy classes. But what you probably didn't know was that this time we were going through the classes while Emily was pregnant. You can read more about the experience on the blog, but in short, we made the decision to get Zero not despite the upcoming birth of our child, but because of it. That meant we had precious little time to get our pup and our family ready for the newest, new edition. Instead of attending baby classes, we attended obedience classes. They were a great way to help us bond with Zero, and we figured we could get some nice cross-species training tips. I don't know how most people spend the last week of pregnancy, but Emily spent hers working on Zero's recall. And then, a little bit ahead of schedule, the stork decided to drop off a two-legged ridgeback we named Lincoln. Of course, with the birth of our child, it was time for us to get serious and put away all silliness. Unfortunate, but inevitable. <laughs> Just kidding. Lincoln was immediately initiated into our merry band of fools. I mean, really, what did you expect? My sister Helen made sure that dad and baby were both equipped with proper team apparel. Dressed in our best, we've had a great time meeting the newest member of the pack. And thanks to my experience, the adjustment period has gone pretty smoothly. Lincoln hasn't pulled on the leash once during any of our walks. And on top of that, I'm also thrilled to report that crate training is a breeze. Well, at least it was until mom got home and caught us. Emily says you guys are gonna call the cops on us, so please don't do that because I promise we're not really crate training our son. Wink wink, or are we? No, but seriously, we're not. And what about Lincoln's nosy siblings, you ask? Never fear, Penny and Zero are actually getting more beach trips than ever. Emily's home on maternity leave and Lincoln sleeps a ton, so I've had the chance to run these guys ragged almost daily. And I'm thinking that by the time Lincoln is ready to swim, he can just learn from Penny and Zero. It's certainly been a hectic few weeks, but we're having a great time. Everyone is happy and healthy. And though he might not know it yet, Lincoln has two very eager siblings who can't wait to go on adventures with him. Zero's hoping he can will Lincoln into chasing him around, but that's going to take a while. I'm sure the pups will manage just fine once the crumbs start falling off the high chair, though. <laughs>